Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa. Come on. I don't care what the financial health uh, of this city is. We clean your toilets. I feel compelled uh, to leave uh, this city uh, in the middle of a crisis. The dark reign of the miniature mayor is coming to an end. Why don't you call for a tote? Call for a tote, man. I called for a tote. Tony Villar only has... Hold it, hold it. 175 days. Uh-huh. John and Ken Show, John Cobell and Ken Shampoo, KFI, AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. 175 days left in the reign of Tony Villar. And when last seen, he was getting a hug from Charlie Sheen on camera while they were partying at a grand opening of a hotel at a bar in Cabo, in Party. Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we don't know how many women uh, Tony encountered that night. You know, and just going back to what we were talking about last hour, we can add the eight years of Tony Villar to the collection of mayors and administrations that haven't dealt with the city's roads to the point where City Councilman Mitch Englander thinks we need a $3 billion yeah. bond measure to fix L.A.'s roads. See, this is what fries me. For eight years, they did nothing under Villar. Eight years, nothing. And, and now Villar is running around with Charlie Sheen. At, at bar and hotel openings, city council members saying, hey, we got to borrow $3 billion. We got 60 years worth of bad road to fix. 60 years. Meantime, record high salaries, pension benefits, and medical benefits for all the stinking union workers in the, six, in, in, in the city. This takes us back before, what, Mayor Yorty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... What would it be? 60 years would go back to 1952? Yeah, I don't even know who was mayor in 1952. Yordi was mayor in the 60s. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know of an L.A. mayor before Yordi. In any event, so now you're coming to us after screwing up for 60 years. It's like, well, we got to borrow $3 billion. we got to raise property taxes up to $120 for every 350 grand your house is worth. Fletcher Bowron. What's his name? Fletcher Bowron. 1952? Yes. Or so yeah. when, when Fletcher Barron was mayor, L.A. roads were up to date. And ever since old Fletcher left office, they're not. We're going down the big pothole. They have not allocated enough money to keep the road repair up to date. And then, and so this guy, this guy is is partying with Charlie Sheen. And then, if you and ask I him, thought he was the pothole king. Isn't that one of his lines, Tony Vallon? That's right. He had a million potholes he claimed he was going to fill. And then we called his uh, his silly uh, aide, Matt Zabo, in one day, who gave us documentation uh, of 58,000. And it was questionable documentation for is those. Is he still running for council? Yes. He, he is, huh? Zabo? Okay. For what? Uh, for whose seat? What part of town? Is it Perry oh, or one of those people leaving? Oh, he's dumb as a box of rocks. I forget. <laughs> I, mean, I forget. Seriously. It might be Garcetti's seat. I'm not sure. It's just, it's an amazing revolving door of just doofuses. Well, anyway, t- uh, Tony Villar, after being asked by Joe Kwan on Friday about the photographs with Charlie Sheen in Mexico, uh, showed up in a couple of places. The LA Daily News has a writer named Rick Orloff who writes a lot about politics, and he commented to Rick about the photos. But here's audio. He's with Conan Nolan. Channel 4 has a show called KNBC's News Conference. It's a Sunday newsmaker show. So let's get right into it with clip one, Conan Nolan and Mayor Villar. Recently, you were in the news because of a photograph that actor Charlie Sheen tweeted, uh, your arm in arm in Cabo San Lucas, apparently at the opening of a new bar that he has there. Was talks it, about Actually, how- the opening of a hotel. He has a bar. And it was a... I had a three-minute conversation. I took a picture with him. What were you doing there, first well, of all? Well, first of all, uh, I was vacationing. I'm in the... And uh, let me be clear about something. I'm in the picture-taking business. When I came here, <laughs> I walked into your makeup room, and the makeup artist had a picture with me. I took a picture with you and your son at the exposition line. I take a picture uh, right. virtually right. every right. single stop day. stop it. Stop it. You know what? Normal people don't do that. Normal people don't take pictures all day and night. Boy. All right? If you hear an a-hole politician announce he's in the picture-taking business, it's out on his rump. Really? Yeah, he ought to be. He ought to be. That's my job. I'm in the picture-taking business. Apparently, not the governing business. That's how you phrase it. Yeah, the 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 city's bankrupt, and 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 the roads haven't been fixed since 1952. And he's telling us that he took a photo with Charlie Sheen because he's in the picture-taking business. This is what we're up against. And then he starts because he would take all day if he could. 
walking around the city and doing what he does and stopping for photos because he loves it. When was the last? Ah, people love me. Look at my smile. When was the last? My beautiful skin. When was, could somebody document the last time he held an intensive meeting discussing the crumbling of city roads and how we're going to pay to fix those roads? Any, no, but here's a signed photo, Mr. Cobelt. And then Because ho- I'm in the picture-taking business. And then he holds up Colin Nolan's kid. Conan Nolan's kid is some kind of shield, some kind of defense. I even took it's- a picture with your kid, sir, so stop objecting. <laughs> I was very nice. That's what I do. He doesn't see a difference between Conan Nolan's son and Charlie Sheen at a bar in Mexico? He doesn't, he doesn't see a qualitative difference in that. And why doesn't he just tell people no? In fact, instead of taking pictures all day, why don't you sit in your office and figure out why we're 60 years behind in, in, in uh, fixing the roads? I, he doesn't do anything about that. All right, let's uh, continue. I take a picture uh, virtually every single day 50 times, and I took a picture with him. It's as simple as that. Right, but you know the ramifications of No, that. you know what? Wait, hold on a I, second. Stop. Let's take him literally. How long does it take to, to set up a photograph and then take the photo? It takes about a minute, doesn't it? Because you're, you're shaking somebody's hand, you're exchanging pleasantries and small talk. They say, hey, can I have a photo? You have to pose for the photo. It usually takes most people like five tries to get the camera to snap. So if he's spending 50 minutes a day, let's say an hour a day, every day for eight years, how many man hours has he spent in the photo business, the picture business, rather than in the business of governing? Yeah, and those wouldn't be news photos because those guys no. don't ask you to pose. They just shoot away. No, but you see— It you would see, be people who want a photo of the celebrity mayor. And by the way, you shouldn't do that. Nobody should should ask the mayor for a photo. Can we have a, a moratorium, a boycott, just for a day? Nobody ask him for a photo? Probably freak out and break out in hives. <laughs> Roll uh, more. I, I, I have never said no— to anyone who wanted to take a picture. It's He's so proud of himself. But you have a fiscal cliff debate taking place in Washington at the same time, and then nationally at, you're with Charlie Sheen and Cabo. It no, certainly you, doesn't look, look good. That's what you guys like to do. I mean, you're in that business of making people look good bad, of, of, you know, of uh, creating some kind of caricature. No, you I'm not in that bad. business. I was on vacation. You. I deserve a vacation from time to time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I, wait, you, wait stop. I deserve a vacation from time to time. L.A. Weekly. Your whole life's a vacation. Four years ago, found out that 89% of his workday was not on L.A. business. 89% of his workday. Uh, he's always out of town. 89%. Campaign and, for Hillary, then Obama, he's the, the head of the Conference of Mayors. I, I he's just, always on the move. Remember? remember he just he, went to South America. He spends his evenings finding ways to get free tickets. Remember the free ticket scandal? Remember we found out he got free tickets to go to Beyonce concert? And to get those tickets, he made up a, a fake award so we could walk on stage and give it to Beyonce. Remember oh, yeah, that? Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that's what he does. But 60 years of crumbles, ro- crumbled roads, he's got nothing to say. All right, there's a little bit more left of this answer. I deserve a vacation from time to time. Uh, you, you have one. Everyone uh, has a vacation. I bumped into him. Uh, he asked me if he could take a picture. He did, and it's as simple as that. So you weren't at the bar. I wasn't with him, and I wasn't at the No, I actually did go upstairs <laughs> to that bar, but he wasn't there uh, when uh, I took that picture. I see. Okay, uh, okay. You, so you, you did, did go have... to the bar. He, he was always trying to separate the, the uh, grand opening of the hotel from Sheen's bar, and he was going to deny being at the bar. Then he remembered he was at the bar, and somebody probably has a photo of him at the bar, so he can't deny that anymore. Um, you think Sheen set him up? Oh, saw him there and said, this will be funny. This, this is going to be funny. He can't resist a photo, and then I can tweet it out. Sheen lives in L.A. He knows everybody. Yeah, he does have big. a sense of humor. Yeah, he probably figured. And then he used the phrase, he Let's knows how to party. Let's see if this a-hole will actually pose with me. <laughs> That's right. And then, and then I'll describe, <laughs> I'll compliment him on his partying talents. Party! And then send it out on uh, Twitter. And uh, and the fool fell for it. Yeah, exactly. The mayor said they talked for three minutes. Three minutes is a long time. Like, what does the mayor have to talk about with Charlie Sheen? That's what I want to uh, drugs. Where are the women at, guys? The extra porn stars? Uh, drugs, alcohol, women. Those are my three guesses. Uh, all right. We got more from Villar. I mean, Pudding. what else would Charlie Sheen be talking about? I don't know what he could talk about. <laughs> what, 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 are his, what are Charlie Sheen's <laughs> three main interests? Shannon, you couldn't talk to Charlie Sheen for three minutes? Well, yeah. I don't have that much to say about hookers and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, he talks about the rumors as to whether or not Obama is going to give him a job, and he goes off on the media concerning his personal life. More good stuff coming from Tony Villar with Conan Nolan on Channel 4's News Conference. John and Ken, KFI AM 640. We're stimulating talk radio.